I'll tell you what, I didn't think I would be uploading another video today regarding Chelsea news. But here we go. Last few sort of minutes, hour, whatever it is. Fabrizio Romano has tweeted that so here we go regarding Mason Mount joining Manchester United. The snake has got his wish. He joins Manchester United, one of Chelsea's biggest rivals, for 55 million plus 5 million in add ons. I hope they're realistic because as much money as we can get for him is beneficial. Chelsea Football Club are selling to direct rivals. Todd Bowley is not afraid to do that. He obviously believes he isn't strengthening them. But we've got bigger problems. We've got questions that we need to answer as fans. I want you to let me know in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. Maybe we'll do a Twitter space, something like that. I want to talk about it. Mason Mount is leaving. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is also leaving as well. He's having a medical. But we need to make some signings. We need to replace this huge outgoing of players i know a clear out was needed but now we are letting our supposed players with quality go as well players that would start games if they were fit kovacic mount Havertz, guaranteed starters whenever they're fit pretty much who are we signing to replace them jao felix should he return i'm a massive advocate for this at the moment jao felix loved his time at chelsea I genuinely think that if we were to go and explore that option to re-sign him, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I could see him returning to Chelsea as something positive right now. He replaces Mason Mount. He replaces Kai Havertz. He obviously didn't have an outstanding record at Chelsea. But right now, at least we know he loves the club when everyone is turning their backs on Chelsea after a rubbish year. And they don't want to be here. And they're turning down contracts left, right and centre. Or they're running them down. Come on. Chelsea fans, let me know what you think. Should Mason Mount's departure mean the return of Jao Felix? Also, I want to know, is £60 million a good deal? He's obviously got a year left on his contract. He didn't want to stay. Have we got a good price? I'm not certain. Harry Kane's got a year left on his deal. And obviously they're talking about mega money for him. So is 60 million okay? Or have we been done a little bit by Man United there? Or have we completely got an unreal deal out of Manchester United? So let me know because I can't make my mind up on that one. 60 million seems just okay. It seems like it's a good amount of money. We've made good money from him, Havertz and Kovacic, it's like 150 million, 160 million. It's pretty good. That seems pretty good, but obviously, these players on good form, I think you could make double that. I really do. So, obviously, contracts and form haven't helped the situation here, but Chelsea are really going for this clear out. And obviously, Ruben over in Milan is having his medical as well today. So, Chelsea Football Club are suddenly, suddenly looking in midfield for definite, a bit short. And we we're already short with quality attackers. Have we got enough depth in the squad? That's what I want to know. Have we got enough depth in the squad to cope with all these outgoings? Or come July the 1st, are Chelsea going to absolutely attack the transfer window and go guns blazing? And sign some players. Should Jao Felix be on the list of players returning to Chelsea Football Club? Because at the moment, I wouldn't mind it. I'd definitely like to see him return with the departure of all these players. At least we know and we have a connection with him. Strange times being a Chelsea fan right now. Strange, strange times. What will Mason Mount be like at Man Manchester United? Will he be a good addition to them? Will he succeed? What do you think? So, lots of talking points. Obviously, kind of just a reaction to the news here. Because Mason Mount leaving Chelsea was always going to cause a big reaction. Probably one of the first Cobham players that has been successful in recent years. He's definitely one of the first names on the list. So, it's like he was one of the biggest names in the new generation of Cobham players that went on obviously to win the Champions League he's gone Ruben 
probably part of the older generation to depart. Where do we stand with Cobham? Is Cobham worth it now? If Todd Bowley's happy to spend money on all these players from abroad, is he just going to write off one of the best academies in the world and just say, see you later? Because that's the impression I'm getting. We've seen it done with other teams. Other teams in the Premier League don't have academies, really, to be honest. They don't bring players through. They just believe they can spend that money better elsewhere by buying players and putting them into their first team or just like an under-21s team, and that's it. So where do we stand? Is this the end of Cobham? Because Ma Mason Mount and Ruben Loftus-Cheek leaving on the same day is a massive statement for, from Chelsea towards the future of Cobham. It means talent will no longer want to sign for Cobham, sign to Chelsea to be part of Cobham. This is a monumental moment. I think this could be a turning point. Cobham was previously one of the best academies in the world. Chelsea's academy at Cobham was renowned. It was continuously challenging for the top titles and accolades in youth football. Youth football, well, that's a tongue twister to say, around Europe. And all of a sudden now, why would players want to join when we are just farming them off? It's going to be a stepping stone, if anything, and there probably isn't room because Todd Bowley's going to sign all these young players and probably send them off on loan to these clubs that he's going to buy as part of the club family. So, look, let's have a good chat about it. Short video, reaction to Mason Mount. Is he a snake? Is he in the wrong? Am I in the wrong? Should he have signed a deal? Was there ever a deal? What a weird situation. A complete and utter mess. Hopefully one day the truth will come out. But until then, thank you Mason Mount for a very small part of your career, unfortunately. And this is a lesson to all younger Chelsea fans. Not to get too attached to some of these players. Only the ones you believe you can really, really trust because they will throw it back in your face. And unfortunately, there are going to be a lot of Chelsea fans out there that are extremely hurt by the departure of Mason Mount. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully, big, big names are on the horizon for Chelsea Football Club.